this administration has been trying in many good ways to get the government out of the economy, but in an area of the economy which involves about uh, one-sixth of all assets in the economy, that is the housing market, they are burrowing right back in to where we were before 2008. The product that Fannie and Freddie are, are most known for is the 30-year fixed-rate mortgage, 20% down payment, the, the classic purchase that most Americans are familiar with. Do you think this product itself is fundamentally flawed? The product is certainly flawed, but the idea that we need Fannie and Freddie for a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage is wrong. Uh, the private sector has always been offering these mortgages, and they are competitive right now uh, with Fannie and Freddie. But if the private sector is offering them, then why are they flawed? Well, they're, fl they're flawed because in, in a 30-year period, most people who uh, take out a 30-year mortgage do not accumulate any significant amount of equity during the first seven or eight years that they're holding the, the home and, and uh, paying off that debt. And then, according to the, the, the uh, records, most people sell their homes within seven, seven years. And in that case, they uh, will not be getting anything back in the way of equity when they sell their homes. So they, to buy a bigger home, they're going to have to take out yet more debt. And the increasing debt in the right. housing market is what is driving up prices. But I go back to the private market, which, as you say, offers these loans in a competitive rate uh, to what Fannie and Freddie offer. Why would this product be available if it, if it has the problems that you describe? Why would Americans have demand for it if it's not in their best interest? It, <laughs> the, the answer to that is that if you have a 30-year fixed rate mortgage, um, then the monthly payment is reduced. When the monthly payment is reduced, you can buy a larger home. That's why it is in the interest of the, of the uh, association of realtors and in some cases uh, home builders and certainly banks well, and uh, homeowners to uh, support themselves. that idea. I, listen, I can understand the, uh, the the homeowners themselves. I can certainly understand the attractiveness of a product that, for a monthly cost that's more affordable, lets you access something you otherwise could never afford. You seem to think that that yes. itself is a problem. What would be a better way than to make? A, are, would you want to see people put fifty percent down? Would you want to see those monthly payments be much higher? Why, what do you think is so misleading about this that is creating distortions across the entire economy? Well, it's not that it's misleading. It's something that the government offers that reduces the, the price that a person has to pay monthly. Now, people can choose to use the government's facilities through Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, or they can choose to use a private um, a bank to make the loan that will cost somewhat the same every month. I'm not against 30-year mortgages. People should be able to make a choice. But one of the reasons that many people want Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to continue in the market is that there is a myth that 30-year fixed-rate mortgages can only be produced by government agencies, and sure. that's just not true. And we've seen other countries, which of course have vastly different types of mortgage products and, and relatively high rates of home ownership, maybe not as high as ours. What do you think would happen if we, and it's, it's impossible, I, I understand, to make the transition from one system to, with Fannie and Freddie, to one without it, certainly in an abrupt way, but is it possible that the private market would actually offer uh, rates or loans that were smaller down payment, smaller monthly payments, had their own sorts of, of problems or distortions, whatever you'd want to call it, built into them, um, might the private sector solutions, in other words, be worse than what we see with Fannie and Freddie instead of better? I doubt it. The private sector seldom gives away um, anything for without, uh, by taking a risk that the government is willing to take. And so if we had a fully private market, we'd have mortgages that would be made to people uh, that they can, not only can they afford because they will buy smaller houses, uh, but these mortgages will not default when we have a financial uh, downturn, as we almost certainly will if uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and the affordable housing requirements they are going to have to meet All right. uh, begin to do the same things they did before 2008, which is raise housing prices, causing people to buy more expensive homes. Mm -hmm. Then the price of homes regress to the long-term mean. 
these people then have to end up losing their homes because they can't afford uh, to pay for them in a downturn market. Peter?